What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgan. We have an insane amount of information to talk about today regarding this update. We have a new trailer regarding M. Bison, which looks absolutely amazing. We got a lot of welcome things that are going to be coming to the game. Some welcome surprises. I do think some of these things might rub players the wrong way, but I think after I explain, you know, the benefits of what they're doing as far as this update is concerned, I think you might be pretty damn happy as far as what we're actually getting so the first thing we want to do is we just want to pull up this trailer because this thing is pretty damn lit here comes a new challenger yeah i love his voice nice Ooh. Ultimate Psycho Crusher. I love his face there. Oh my god. Oh, he's got a sick voice, man. It's freaking awesome. I mean, Bison looks awesome, guys. Like, there was, there's a pretty big surprise regarding Bison, though. Honestly, that kind of shocked me from the uh, patch notes. But he looks amazing, guys. Oh my god. Wow. I'm expecting maybe a little dark damage from this guy. Epic music, man. So cool. Nice. Nice, man. Freaking awesome trailer, guys. I'm not going to dive into it too much, but it looks absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure that Bison fans are going to be pretty happy with what they did for the character. He looks godly. He looks absolutely amazing. Very, very excited about M. Bison. Now, let's talk about all this other stuff, which is first, the maintenance notice. Now, the maintenance is going to last for seven and a half hours, which is pretty crazy, guys. That's a huge, huge maintenance update, but that's because there's a lot of things that they got put into the game. I mean, we have the addition of Street Fighter Collaboration Fighters and Battle Cars, which we already knew, right? And this is going to be the pick up summon volume one and card volume one right we got dream match which is a new game mode that's been added we got a new welcome super mission which we've already talked about in a past video we got new imprint stones for street fighter characters which is something that we've always come to expect as far as collaboration characters are concerned we have new street fighter 5 celebration enhancement hammers which is great for leveling up those imprint stones for our new street fighter characters and then we have a whole slew of things that we're just going to talk about later on and then we have the chapter fight season nine which is great that means we're going to be able to acquire quite a few ruby during the duration of this so that's actually really really good very happy to see and we also got some system improvement error fixes that i'm going to touch on here in a little bit now here's the update notice guys right and of course like i mentioned earlier we got new fighter battle cars pick up summons blah 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 i've already went over all this right now i know you don't see it guys but uh bison and akuma are also part of it for some reason it's not showing on this page but Bison is actually a red defensive character, and Akuma is a purple attack, okay? So just keep that in mind as far as the typings of these characters. Ryu is a yellow attack, which is something that I was kind of hoping for, that he was going to be an attack. Luke is an SS character that's balanced. We have the Nostalgia Chun-Li, that's a green defensive. And then we have EX Chun-Li. All right, guys, so I'm editing this part in the video after I already made the video because I got an insane amount of information regarding all the new characters from the other Kofas 4 giving us a lot more details than what Global actually did at the time of release of these notes. And so the first thing I want to let you guys know is that there's three EX characters. An EX character is a character that has a red border. This is a new thing that Netmarvel is doing. Before we had to do a change of kit and unlock their EX skill. Now they're just EX characters right off the get-go. And the, the difference between these characters and our other characters, say like SS and BS, is the fact that these characters are going to be cost 70. And what that means is that they're going to have higher native stats than cost 65, cost 63. Our BS and SS characters are cost 65. Our regular fest characters are cost 63, and there are a couple exceptions where they are cost 65. So I just want to make that clear uh, regarding these characters. 
And the thing about this is, guys, is that, you know, you're going to have to pull in the banner for these EX characters, except for Chun-Li. I mean, obviously, you can pull in the banner for her, but for Chun-Li, we're going to actually get her for free, which is absolutely amazing. But from what I understand, and I don't know if this is 100% true, guys, from what I understand is you're still going to need seven memories to take them to Awaken level 50, just like what it's always been, but you're going to still need three more memories to unlock their EX skill. Now, I'm not really sure about this, guys. I'm not even 100% sure about this. So take it with a bit of a grain of salt because, I mean, I'm just getting in all kinds of information coming in regarding this. The only Fess character, like regular Fess, is this version of Chun-Li, who is a green defensive fighter, right? This character you can actually level up through Dimensional Invitation tickets that are always available in the game. And she does have an EX skill as well. All of them have an EX skill. Luke as an SS character and Bison as an SS character both have EX skills from what I understand and from some of the screenshots I've seen from the other forms. So do keep that in mind, guys. So like with Luke and Bison, you're going to need, you know, to use SS memories in order to level them up, right? And you can get them from Guild Raid, but there is a big RNG crapshoot as far as that's concerned. But you're going to need three actual memories for each of them characters, really for each of any of these characters, in order to unlock the change of kit and take them to Awaken level 70. The EX characters with Ryu, Chun-Li, and Akuma, I'm not really sure if we need, you know, 10 memories in total to go all the way to Awaken level 70, or if it's just seven memories. I'm, I'm not really 100% sure, guys. So I just want you to take some of this with a bit of grain of salt. But when we have the update, we'll have a lot more details about all of this, guys. Everything will be much clearer then because we'll know exactly what it takes to max out a character because I'm going to go all out for these characters. I got a lot of rubies on my main account and my free to play account. So we'll see how it turns out, but you're gonna need actual memories for these characters, for the EX characters, these red border characters in order to level them up. You're not gonna be able to use dimensional invitation tickets, which is a bummer. Chun-Li, this version of Chun-Li, the nostalgia version is the only one that you can. So I'm going to leave you guys with the original recording of this video, but I just want to give you guys this tidbit of information because I thought it was really, really important to let you all know about it. If you're curious about Bison, he's actually an SS character, which is wacky to say the least. SS characters have never been villains in Kofas. Uh, this is the first time this has ever happened. I'm actually a little disappointed that he is an SS character, but he's still going to be godly, guys. He's only going to be able to go to Waken level 50, just like... Luke here, but he's still going to be damn strong, guys. When it comes to SS, BS characters, they just become godly. But yeah, very, very nice. And you see the exchange shop, use three collaboration fighter memories in the change up tab, exchange for a change up kit. And I'm pretty sure those memories are going to be specific to those characters. And as usual, whenever we combine memories, we have a chance of getting a Luke memory or a Bison memory. And right here, you guys can see that Bison is an SS character. And then we scroll down a little bit further, and here we have the three PGs for all the characters. You got the Dinjin Hadoken, the Annihilator, and the Hyokusen for Chun Li, which is pretty freaking awesome, guys. And they're doing the same thing like what they've always done with the three PGs. You're gonna be able to get three different three PGs. You can only equip two on a character, so you know you can give them extra attack. Skill damage, critical damage, just same old stuff that we've come to expect at this point in the game. We have new set cards that have Akuma on them, which look freaking awesome. I love the instantaneous 1,000 blows title on these cards, which is, right, it's OP. And then we have the option cards. You got Ryo and Kyo, and then you have Bison here, which is awesome, guys. And then we have another set of cards that's got beautiful Chun-Li, which she looks absolutely amazing, honestly. Actually, I wouldn't have minded into having this as a playable character. I mean, she looks absolutely amazing, right? And here's some other artwork. The artwork's always so beautiful in the game. A bunch of option cards, lots of cards, my friends. You got to pick them, fight or something, volume one, and volume one, right? And you guys can see EX Ryu, SS Luke, uh, Nostalgia Chun-Li, right? And then, of course, the cards, right? We scroll down. We got new stones and new hammers for the characters. And then we have a new dream match. This is a new game mode where they're going to try to balance out fighters for us. And there's a whole slew of things to read here. I mean, there is going to be a schedule. You, you can only play this during the dream type match period, which is it's not really going to be the greatest because some players, you know, they live in different parts of the world. Maybe they're busy. They got work. They got families. They got whatever is going on in their life. And they might not be able to play this at a certain times. So we'll see how it plays out, guys, whenever it shows up. But you form a team of three with any KOF All-Star Fighters, right? A team of three, which is pretty typical amongst KOF original games. And then, you know, the match, decide which player will go first, second, and third. Kind of like 
what it is in like say KOF 15, right? Or the original KOF games, which is pretty cool. And then we have the fighter remove all fighters unique core and skill buff effects which is awesome, guys. It's really going to nerf the characters. And that's a good thing because characters are so broken with these cores that it really takes a lot of the fun out of the game and honestly takes a lot of the skill out of the game. And because they're going to be removing the core and skill buff effects, they're not going to be as strong. They're, gonna, they're not going to have as many advantages against your opponents and actually might make the fight a lot more fun. It might make it a lot more fun. All, ba all fighters are balanced equally. And then skill, all fighters cancel timing between active skills will be changed to when the first hit occurs. Uh, gain power when attacked. Each skill type differs amounts of power. Skills are balanced according to their type. Active, balance change according to the skill. Cooldown damage, power gain, target power. Cooldown becomes zero seconds, consumes 3 PG. Ultimate, I mean, you know, I don't need to read all of this, guys, right? Escape skill, cooldown becomes 10 seconds, right? Changes existing awaken skill to escape skill that consumes 1 PG. Slight delay upon use. Right, so now whenever you roll, there's a slight delay, so you can actually get caught a little bit easier. So skill players are going to be able to notice that and see that and hit their opponents. You have guard, cannot charge PG when attacking while guarding. We have certain characters in the game, whenever you guard, you can actually build up your power gain. And then what it does is it forces other players to attack you, so you don't build up your power gain. But whenever they attack you, like whenever you can guard and build up your PG, you actually, what you're doing is, you're baiting your opponent into attacking you. And a lot of times, whenever they attack you, a lot of characters have removed super, super armor, hyper armor, and they can easily use those skills, take away the other character's hyper armor, and pretty much demolish them. That's what a lot of people do, especially with the guard tactic, is just try to bait them into attacking you because they don't want you to build up that 3 PG. And then we have the common effect, Dream Match effect activates when all fighters HP is below 40%. And then, so whenever we get below 40% HP, this is what's going to happen. Reset active skill cooldown and 30% cooldown reduction. Attack type, additional 5% decrease to active skill cooldowns. Balance type, immediately charges 20% power. Defensive type, immediately recovers HP by 20%. So very, very interesting. And now I've already went over all the super mission stuff, guys. I'm not going to go over this again. We've talked about it already. We have a login uh, bonus right here, which is nice. And then we have these tokens, which are going to be amazing because these are what we're going to use to get Chun-Li for free. Hell yes, my friends. Very cool. And then we have Rio here, a new guild raid, which is actually pretty cool. And this is dependent on how many hits we do in the guild raid. This just, these are usually really easy things to do just to get some free rewards, uh, which is really, really nice, guys. We have Chun-Li's event craft. We're an event where we'll proceed where you can use craft coins obtained from the mini dungeon event and SFB, SF5 event summon to craft battle cards and other rewards. We have a Street Fighter V event codex. You guys can see Akuma here. You can see Bison here. And this is pretty typical, guys, of what we get. These tokens right here are for the EX changeup kits. So that's actually really, really good that they did this. And then we have Chun-Li. And this is amazing, guys. This is exactly what they did for Soul Bad Guy. See these little tokens here? We're going to be able to acquire all these little tokens and we're going to be able to pull in this banner and we're going to be able to start getting memories for Chun-Li. EX character, guys. But you're also going to be able to get regular memories for her to do the change of kit. Most players, most players that played during the Guilty Gear collaboration were able to get Soul Bad Guy to A3, if not higher. I mean, it's it's awesome, guys. It really is freaking amazing what they've done. They've made this very free-to-play friendly, and I'll prove that on my free-to-play account. It's absolutely amazing because I got about 70,000 rubies on my free-to-play account, and I'm going to go hog wild on this update. And then we have new packages. I'm not going to go into the packages, guys. I'm not going to read all this stuff here. And then we have system improvements and error fixes. And I wanted to touch on this a little bit because this is actually pretty damn cool. So applied range, stage 35 and below in RHD, Reviving Hell's Dungeon. And this is a game mode where we actually can get experience bottles. And the reason that's important is because experience bottles, these materials are what we use to awaken our character, or well, not awaken, but to level up our characters even more. So when you have a character at one star, you use these experience by level ones to level them up from experience from level one to level 10. When you have them at uh, two star, you level them from level 10 to level 20 with these experience balls and so on and so on and so on. And that's actually pretty damn awesome that they are essentially nerfing this game mode because dungeon clear time limit and each fighter's play time are increased. They're increasing our time to be able to beat the stage, which means your characters won't have to be quite as strong, quite as powerful in order to do it.
That's freaking nice, guys. That's actually really amazing that they did that. And then the dungeon element penalty applied to fighters is decreased damage received, right? So it's not reflect. It's decreased damage received. With reflect, you get one shot and you're dead. So when you come into RHD and you don't fit the requirements, you're using characters that don't. So it's like you need three purple attack fighters, right? Well, you could just, you know, bring in other fighters that don't fit the requirements. They're just going to get a decreased damage received. So whenever they're attacking opponents, they're not going to do as much damage if they don't fit the requirements. So if you have a really, really powerful character, you're not going to get reflected anymore if you don't fit the requirements in RHD. And you'll be able to get it done as long as your characters are strong enough to push through it. So it's actually really good. This is only up to stage 35, so just do keep that in mind. Past stage 35 in RHD, it's going to be a totally different story. But this really does help a lot of players, especially newer players, be able to push in RHD, which is something that I'm actually, I think it's really cool, man. The awaken level penalty and elemental penalties in some stages have changed to individual penalties rather than a team penalty. So that again, this is something that's going to help players be able to progress through RHD a whole lot easier, at least all the way up until stage 35, which is awesome. And then something else that they did that was really freaking awesome is that the exchange shop and halls of elements have changed so that the exchange limit for items resets every week. And this is actually pretty damn awesome because currently right now in the game, in the halls of elements, this shop, it takes like a full month for this thing to reset right and you know you have certain fighters in here for that entire month duration well now this is going to reset every single week and what that means is you're going to be able to level up certain fighters a whole lot faster because their memories are going to show up more often in the game which is awesome guys i mean it's actually a huge quality of life change that they did and i'm actually really happy that they did it i think that's absolutely amazing and they've added Awakened Tier to 1-3 ca Capsules item to the list of items you can request to guild members. That's actually really cool to help your guild members progress a little bit. Item drop rate increase and AP usage decrease effect is added for returning players playing Halls of Elements during the Hot Time event. So that's going to help a lot of new players progress in there as well. And then we have some error fixes and then we move on to the event notice right here. And the event notice, guys, I mean, it's just a lot of things that we already know we got a new rush dungeon which is awesome we have this new tower we can where we actually have to use street fighter uh they got heavy d right here but uh i mean we actually gonna have to use street fires you can enter the challenge dungeon if you obtain a street fighter 5 collaboration fighter so you're gonna have to use one of those fighters to push come in here and this is these have always been really really good these towers have been amazing because they usually have really really good rewards i mean we've gotten like ss and bs memories from this thing so it's, it's really, really cool. I mean, maybe we'll get a memory for one of the characters. Who knows? But I'm actually really excited about it because, honestly, the towers go over so well with the public. And, and most players are really, really happy with those things. Then you have the fighter formation requirement. Only Street Fighter Five collaboration can, characters can be used in a challenge dungeon, which we already knew. Uh, time level by level. You have the login bonus right here, which is great, guys. You got an option card you're going to get for free. Again, these tokens are going to be used to get Chun-Li, which is amazing. Then we have the special relay gift box. Once open, we'll include the next available gift box which you can open up later when the next open schedule comes and the last time they done this the last box actually gave us i believe it was a bs memory or an ss memory no it's an ss memory the last time and during the guilty gear collaboration so there's a good chance guys that this box like after you open it five times is going to give you like maybe an ss memory right that would be absolutely sick if they did that i mean i really don't know for sure uh, i don't see anything about it i mean i might have brushed over it might have missed it to be perfectly honest because i am kind of rushing through this because this is a long long video and then we have the mini dungeon where you smash the car you know which will just be a fun easy little thing to do where you can actually obtain chun li's craft event coins you can get some plus capsules which is always nice to increase your cp for your characters, how to use Chun Li's Craft Event Coin. You can use Chun Li's Craft Event Coin obtained from the mini dungeon to craft items in the event craft. So you're just gonna get coins from here, and there's gonna be in the craft menu, uh, in this craft menu right here. Click on this, and you go to craft. In this craft menu, we're gonna be able to craft certain items. Uh, for Chun Li or for whatever we need, and then we're going to have a carnival that remains to be seen. What all entails as far as the carnival is concerned, uh, how to participate, lobby, enter through the carnival. You can earn event points by progressing with designated event contents under the carnival rules. According to the rules of carnival, you can progress with event contents to receive points to earn corresponding points. Each reward on the carnival can be re only received once. Uh, more details about the rewards can be found in the carnival page of the game. So we'll have to wait and see if we have to use memories or cards to acquire enough points to finish the carnival. 
And then, please note, event schedule is subject to change depending on the progress. Once Carnival event is over, any uncollected rewards will be sent to the mailbox. You have the Guild Raid event boss Ryu, which is pretty freaking cool, right? And Lobby Main Screen Guild, enter through the Guild Raid banner. Event details. Uh, during the event period, Street Fighter Collaboration Celebration event boss Ryu will appear in the Guild Raid. The real Guild Raid team formation rule is that only Street Fighter characters can be used. And since they're giving us Chun-Li for free, you can absolutely use her in this event to get the rewards from there even if you don't pull in the banner so that's actually pretty damn cool the real event guild raid can be there twice per day nice so you're gonna have two keys per day and Ryu's break gauge will decrease depending on the amount of hits received it's not a dot that's being applied you're going to do a certain amount of hits in order to really break that gauge and if it hit by attack that damage over time so that is dot then break gauge will decrease even faster okay so you definitely want to apply dot all right Depending on the accumulated damage done to Rio under the time limit, you can receive Street Fighter 5 Guild Raid Mystery Boxes, where we can get some nice little rewards out of those Mystery Boxes. You have a Street Fighter Battle Pass, and the Battle Pass, you know, it's just one of those things you, have, you know you can purchase. Uh, this one's usually about $5. This one here is about $50, something like that. And they do have a Street Fighter SS Memory Mystery Box in here, and that Street Fighter SS Memory could either be for Luke or for Bison, if you are interested in buying this. And then we have another little event. You guys can see SS Bison right here. You can see that he is a red defensive character right there. It's probably kind of hard to see, but you can see the red defense right there, which is actually pretty awesome. And then, of course, Luke right here. And then use Chun-Li's craft event coins obtained from the Street Fighter V event summon and mini dungeon to craft option battle cards and other various items. And then, of course, we've already talked about all this right here. We've already talked about this. This is absolutely amazing, guys. This is totally sick, right? These, these are amazing, guys. You're just going to do all these dailies right here, and then you're going to get all these coins. You're going to be able to use those coins in this banner to get Chun-Li. It's so freaking cool, and I'm absolutely loving it, guys. And then, of course, you know, when you play Chapter Fight five times every day, you're going to get 100 rubies every single day. This is something typical that they've always done. And then when you play Dream Match, you get a Street Fighter event coin by 50 uh, for 50 points and then you get dream batch win incentive uh you get an event coin by 50 points nice 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 and that's pretty much about it i know it kind of brushed over pretty fast guys but it was really so much to talk about and really just a lot of amazing things again i think some people might be a little disappointed about the fact that uh akuma is not a bs character and honestly guys i was too and the fact that rio is not an ss character some people are gonna be pretty bummed out about that so i know this was a long video man there was a whole lot to talk about and i'm sure there's some things that i missed but guys let me know how you're feeling about this update i i love the trailer to bison he looked absolutely epic and hopefully we'll see an akuma trailer before the update actually shows up so again let me know how y'all feeling about the update and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m june 2 plus 7 time the link is in the description below and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, y'all. Take care and have a good one. See everybody.